Mr. DeWitt. Mr. DeWitt. Are you alright? I'm fine. Today I will be reviewing Burial at Sea, Part 1, DLC for Bioshock Infinite. Enjoy. Closed. You don't look the sort who can afford to turn down legitimate work. <coughs> what do you want? How about we start with a light? Well, you got a name, miss? Elizabeth. You can call me Elizabeth. What can I do for you? There's a girl who needs to be found. Maybe you've seen her? This girl... This girl's dead. You know her. You'll see dozens of her type down by the docks or the slums in Apollo Square. Orphans. But Fontaine's charity shut. No place for them. But her you As know... As I said, the girl's dead. Lost. Look, I don't know where you get... Lost isn't dead. Name your rate, I will pay you for this work. But you do this one gratis, wouldn't you? I don't follow. Something tells me you will. Playing as Booker DeWitt, you are hired by Elizabeth to find a little girl named Sally. Finally getting to see Rapture in its olden glory, this DLC has a very noir feel to it. Starting the search following Elizabeth to the first lead, Cohen. We finally get to see this Dali-esque artist in his prime. After a great scene between DeWitt, Elizabeth, and Cohen, you awaken in a water vehicle and the Fontaine building is ahead. Now let's talk about the gameplay, cause I don't want to give away too much of this game. The gameplay is great. Same controls as in the main game and some great cinematic easter eggs with the movie boots. The story runs pretty smoothly, the graphics are as good as the main game, and it helps to set the framework to fill in the plot holes between Bioshock Infinite and the original Bioshock. It's well immersive, and it took me only a few hours to get through, but it was a great DLC. I'm giving this DLC a 7 songbirds out of 10.